understanding, methylation, and personalized nutritional needs. Methylation is arguably one of the most fundamental and frequent biochemical processes occurring in the human body. A simple yet critical reaction, involving the transfer of a methyl group, one carbon atom attached to three hydrogen atoms, CH3, from one molecule to another. This single chemical tag acts like a switch, turning genes on or off, synthesizing neurotransmitters, regulating hormone breakdown, metabolizing toxins and maintaining the integrity of DNA. Methylation occurs billions of times every second and is central to epigenetic regulation, detoxification and overall cellular function. A large portion of the population carries genetic variations that affect key enzymes in this cycle, most notably the MTHFR, methylenetrahydrofolate reductase enzyme. Understanding one's individual methylation capacity and the nutritional cofactors needed to support it is the key to unlocking highly personalized nutritional needs and addressing chronic health issues, ranging from mood disorders and chronic inflammation to cardiovascular disease risk. The primary function of the methylation cycle is the conversion of the amino acid homocysteine into methionine, a necessary step for producing s methionine, same, the body's universal methyl donor. When this cycle is impaired due to genetic variances, like the MTHFR polymorphism or nutritional deficiencies, homocysteine can accumulate in the bloodstream. Elevated homocysteine is a well-established independent risk factor for cardiovascular disease, CVD as it promotes arterial damage and blood clot formation. This link highlights the direct, clinical importance of supporting the cycle. The efficient functioning of the entire cycle is critically dependent on three key vitamins, known as methyl donors, folate, vitamin B9, vitamin B12, and vitamin B6. Without sufficient and usable forms of these cofactors, the biochemical cascade slows down leading to impaired function across multiple systems. This is why standard nutritional advice often fails. For individuals with methylation issues, they may require higher than average doses, or more importantly, pre-methylated, bioactive forms of these vitamins, such as methylfolate and methylcobolamin, rather than the synthetic forms like folic acid, that their bodies struggle to convert. The influence of methylation extends profoundly into neurotransmitter synthesis and mood regulation. The cycle is essential for creating and breaking down key neurotransmitters like dopamine, serotonin and norepinephrine. For instance, the efficient metabolism of dopamine requires methylation. If an individual is a slow methylator, they might struggle to clear dopamine and norepinephrine, leading to a tendency toward anxiety, overstimulation and difficulty sleeping. Conversely, rapid methylators might clear these neurotransmitters too quickly, potentially predisposing them to low mood or depression. Understanding this underlying biochemical process provides a personalized explanation for why certain individuals respond poorly to standard psychiatric medications or supplements. A nutritional approach focused on supporting methylation through specific vitamins magnesium and choline can help stabilize the production and metabolism of these mood-regulating chemicals, offering a more foundational strategy for managing mood disorders and improving cognitive function. Furthermore, methylation is vital for detoxification and hormone metabolism. It plays a direct role in Phase two liver detoxification, where toxins and spent hormones like estrogen are tagged with methyl groups to be made water-soluble and safely excreted. Impaired methylation can lead to the inefficient clearance of estrogen, potentially contributing to conditions like estrogen dominance and increasing the lifetime exposure to metabolites that carry a higher risk. By consuming foods rich in methyl-supportive nutrients such as leafy green vegetables for folate, high-quality proteins for amino acids and eggs for choline, and utilizing targeted genetically appropriate vitamin supplementation, individuals can enhance their body's inherent ability to neutralize toxins and balance hormones. The shift from generic dietary recommendations to a personalized, methylation-aware nutritional strategy represents the cutting edge of functional medicine, offering a targeted, biochemically informed pathway to optimize foundational health processes and mitigate genetic vulnerabilities. The anti-aging power of intercellular communication and senolytics.
the pursuit of longevity has moved beyond simple caloric restriction to focus intensely on the processes that govern cellular aging and communication. At the forefront of this research is the concept of cellular senescence, a state where cells cease to divide but remain metabolically active, refusing to die through apoptosis programmed cell death. These senescent cells, often referred to as zombie cells, accumulate in tissues over time and are a primary driver of aging and age-related disease. They release a toxic mix of inflammatory proteins, growth factors, and enzymes collectively known as the senescence-associated secretory phenotype, S. This asset disrupts the healthy functioning of neighboring cells and the overall tissue environment, promoting chronic inflammation, fibrosis, and the progression of conditions like arthritis, atherosclerosis, and neurodegeneration. The key to anti-aging science now lies in eliminating these senescent cells and restoring healthy intercellular communication. The toxic cascade initiated by SAP severely impairs the communication channels between healthy cells. Healthy cells rely on precise signaling to coordinate repair, growth, and immune surveillance. When senescent cells continuously release pro-inflammatory cytokines, they create a state of perpetual low-grade systemic inflammation, a concept called inflammaging which confuses and overwhelms the neighboring cells. This constant inflammatory noise impairs the function of stem cells, reduces tissue regeneration capacity, and ultimately leads to organ dysfunction and physical frailty. The accumulation of senescent cells is an inevitable part of biological aging, but the rate of accumulation and the toxicity of their sap can be mitigated. Strategies for longevity must therefore focus on supporting the body's natural mechanisms for clearing these cells and, where those fail, using targeted compounds to specifically eliminate them. This targeted approach has led to the development of senolytics, a class of compounds specifically designed to induce the death of senescent cells without harming healthy non-senescent cells. Senolytics work by interfering with the anti-apoptotic pathways that the senescent cells exploit to resist programmed cell death. The goal is to safely pull the plug on these toxic zombie cells, clearing them from the tissue and thereby shutting down the damaging saps but they release. Promising natural and synthetic senolytic compounds have been identified, including quercetin, a flavonoid found in capers, onions and apples, and fisetin found in strawberries and apples. Human trials are underway to determine the optimal dose and frequency for using these compounds to reduce the senescent cell burden. While still an emerging field, the strategic removal of senescent cells holds the potential to reverse or significantly slow the progression of age-related disease and restore a more youthful tissue environment by cleaning up the toxic cellular debris. Beyond senolytics, other strategies focus on restoring intercellular communication and enhancing the cell's natural resilience. Intermittent fasting and caloric restriction are proven activators of autophagy, cellular cleanup, which helps to clear out damaged cellular components before they can fully transition into a senescent state. Furthermore, compounds that boost NADTT levels, such as NMN or NR, as discussed in the mitochondria section, are believed to enhance DNA repair mechanisms and improve the overall resilience of the cell against the stress that leads to senescence. The synthesis of all these approaches, reducing the factors that induce senescence, like oxidative stress and chronic inflammation, activating the body's cleanup mechanisms, autophagy, mitophagy, and selectively eliminating existing senescent cells, senolytics represents the leading edge of anti-aging research. By focusing on the health and communication of individual cells, the goal of extending both lifespan and health span moves from theoretical aspiration to a highly targeted biologically achievable reality.